America. Home to some of the world's greatest landscapes, ecosystems, and creatures that call it home. I've traveled its canyons. I've traveled its coasts. But there's a place in my heart that I hold the most. Where I've watched the night sky, where I've watched a tree die. Traveling transforms you, gives birth to new experiences. It helps conquer fears. It helps you appreciate what you've had all these years. This is Nebraska through the seasons. Out golf in the bay. It is beautiful. Like beautiful. 72 degrees. And Gorgeous. Partly cloudy. Can... Hard the last two holes. Yeah, I've got pretty lucky the last couple of holes. Part them. But the hole before that, I got an eight. <laughs> Pat approaching the, the green on a par three. Second stroke. Look at that concentration. Oh, oh, oh. There's a lot. There's a lot. Will we get it to the green? Oh, he got it up. Got it up. It's rolling down, it's rolling down. camp set up at Gallagher's Canyon. We're trying out a new spot today. I mean, we had our pick of the litter. Nobody's here. I love it. It's a Thursday, beautiful day, high of 72. Forecast says clear skies tonight, so I ain't even gonna bother putting up a, a rain cover over my hammock. Let me show you my view. This is my view for tonight. I'm pretty happy about it. I've never camped in this spot before and I'm getting to try out a new hammock setup. Well, let me show you my dad's camping setup. He just bought a new tent, so I'll show you that. We'll give a tour of your home away from home. Put a trash bag up so we don't litter like other people. Yeah, I've already picked up quite a bit of trash. For those watching, if you camp, please enjoy the outdoors, but pack out what you pack in tired of cleaning up other people's crap and just makes this beautiful place look trashy so please pick up your litter thank you yes brand new six-man tent to me the guy my size to me it still is to two man tent. <laughs> when you got a nice cot in there like I do come, yeah let's come, show them come look at this as you see how tall it was yeah six foot tall as I would have said yeah now that's my idea of being comfortable when you're up off the ground. Pillow, sleeping bag, blanket. I'll be sleeping nicely tonight. Dad is currently cooking us lunch. Some kosher hot dogs. Look at that grill. All this nice stuff that 
my grandparents brought some extra food as well. Hot dogs. And there they are. Macadamia nut cookies. What would you like to tell my audience? That I got a great grandson. <laughs> <laughs> Have you been drinking? <laughs> and we love the Indiana Jones hats the guys got. They look pretty cool. Got them at Dick Sporting Goods for like 20 Good day, bucks. Mate. <laughs> Now you can see where I get my goofiness from. Want to try Nick's hammock out tonight? <laughs> um, that I would probably have to pass on. <laughs> Especially since she said there might be a bobcat. They're just trying to scare me. <laughs> hey everybody, fun guy Nick here. We're out in Nebraska, Burwell area. Lady Lake, I believe. We're doing some fishing. I brought the fam out. Let's go have some fishing fun. All right, we are testing out our new waders. Uh, here's here's some little looks like bluegill maybe I don't know if you can see through the reflection of the water but right down there yep they're running they see me so I'm just gonna move over here slowly away from my group give them some space Any bites? I just got in. What are you using? Worm. Worm. There's a lot of bluegill over there. Mine's too big for the bluegill. <clears throat> I see him swimming by me. You see the turtle? No. Where was it? Oh, right there. Is it right there? Straight out from me. This one right there. Oh, I see him. Oh, I see him too. He's just chilling. Yeah. I'm gonna walk on the other side. Okay. Where the shade is? Yep. Will the soap better? I think it will because the water will be a little cooler for the fish. That's my theory. I'm gonna test it. They thought I came over here to secretly fish, but I secretly came over here to get this beautiful view. It's right next to a highway, but it's only briefly traveled, really. Look at the scenery. This is one beautiful part of Nebraska, for sure. Let's, let's catch us some fish. Well, <laughs> yeah, that sucks. That defeated everything I just said. I see two... I think those might be trout, but they're sure as hell bigger than the bluegill. So we're gonna catch, we're gonna try to catch some of these fish. There's a, that's a trout right there, rainbow trout, big one. Wow. Let's see if we can reel in some of those bigger ones. Nope. Oh shit! Now what am I caught on? What the hell? Gotta go. Swim right by a few. They don't know what to think of it. They aren't sure yet. All right, we're gonna give this another cast. I just saw that rainbow trout swim by a little bit further out. That might be a good cast. Let's see if we get any bites. They're still not sure what to think of it quite yet. Tons of small bluegill at this little pond here east of Burwell. I might switch to the worm soon because that's always tried and true when it comes to the, the bluegill. They didn't, yeah, they don't even 
I don't know if they even care about this yet. All right, let's go in and scare them. <laughs> Try to call them back. Oh my God, look at that huge bullfrog right in front of us. That is a huge bullfrog. Oh, like, I'll see if I can get my bobber near it. So you can see, it's right below my bobber. Right behind my bobber. That thing's big. I feel bad disturbing it. I'm gonna see if I can find another spot to climb in and walk back this way, because I, I like to disturb habitats. He's just chilling there. All right, this spot's perfect. We can climb in right here and cast back that way. We're gonna catch us a damn trout or even just a small bluegill I'd be happy with. Uh-oh, something. What the hell just fell off? Might have to look. Um. Oh, shit. That piece is kind of important. Hold on, let me fish this out. In fact, I should record this because it's interesting, I guess, because this piece fell out of my damn rod, and that's kind of important. I think I still see it. We're gonna get our shirt wet for sure. Oh yeah, baby, oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh. Feels good. <laughs> well. All right, resume fishing. <laughs> Believe we got caught on this damn tree. It might be too deep too to get out there. <laughs> oh, there we go. We broke through. Oof. See, I've heard things about this monofilament line. It's been used forever. There's something I need to clean off at the tip. But it has a little give. You can sometimes get it unstuck. Versus with a braided line, you pretty much always got to uncut that. Well, Michael's the first to catch a tiny little bluegill. That's all right. It's fun. <laughs> oh, how fun. All right, time for us. Look at all these bluegill here. We're going to catch one, right? Here soon. Just a tiny one. That's okay. I might have to put more weight on this thing, maybe. I'm the last. Mom's bluegill. Good catch. Hurry, it's suffering. <laughs> Do you know how to hold them, Michael? Yeah. Pet just their, down. just pet their spine down yeah, on their back. Yeah, or that works too. That's a good. That was a good hook. So it's not swallowed really. Good job. You can get the worm back. Wow. Okay, gentle, gentle, Michael. Oh, you gotta be gentle. A good old worm bobber. I just saw a fish jump. Over that way. We're gonna catch him. I'll uh, adjust the camera for you so we can see that bobber go down. This, my friends, is good old Nebraska lazy fishing <laughs> with the bobber and the worm. But it's fun. Oh, it wasn't recording, ha uh -huh. <laughs> No? Something just took it, yep. Oh, shit. I see them, too. They're all little tiny ones. Finishing the fishing day with some Pizza Palace pizza. 
Yeah. It's pretty That's good. It's maybe better, maybe better than the Anabrox. But I'm here, you can order every day of the week. And today's even Memorial Day and they're open. So, good job on them. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. We are on a Father's Day camping trip. Hi not, well, I guess we'd probably go hiking. But uh, we're at Halsey State, no, Halsey National Forest, excuse me. Very beautiful area. We just drove through the, the main check-in recreation area, that, you know, the pay-for sites, which it is very well upkept. So, uh, nice modern cabins. That's so concerned about finding cabins. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. I just want to know where everything is. Yeah, we're just all checking out the area today, so come and join us for this most excellent adventure. Right, Zach? Still a unique landscape within itself. So this is at the western edge. An attic campsite. It seems more like a campsite for horse trailers. Enthusiast. Horse trailblazers. What do you call? What do you call people that hike on a horse? I don't know. That's what every person in this campsite is. They all have stock trailers for horses. Huh. So, if you have a horse, this is a great place to take them. Down the road from that last campground is a four-wheel drive only road that takes you to the Dismal River. 12 miles. This is what we're looking at. Nothing too sketchy yet. The roads here have been pretty dry. Yeah, so far a car could handle this. Yeah, you wouldn't want to pull a camper in here. Oh, you could. You could get an over, get one of them overlanding campers. There's a place in Hastings that sells them, but they're too small for your luxury. But they're made for these types of things. But yeah, now we're at parts where I want to take my car. Can we do it? Splash! Aww. What a disappointment. <laughs> Off-roading at its best. <laughs> at its best? What other bests do you compare this to? That's uh, my only one. <laughs> you could like drive up close to some of them type of areas. That would ruin the land if everyone did that. I know, but to haul all the stuff we're gonna need. Do you feel like Ace Ventura on that first movie? Or second movie, when nature calls. And he's like driving around, bumping all like that. The roads aren't even bad. Where I'm Joel would like to do it. Is. We have fun when we go dark. 
Arkansas and Alan's four wheeler. I love that. That was the best memory was you getting stuck in the river. <laughs> you flooded it out right after you Alan told love it when I have troubles. <laughs> <laughs> Bigfoot. Tim and I threw as we went until we came upon a maiden's tent. Since they were three and we were two, I bucked one and Tim bucked two. <laughs> <laughs> We are at the Dismal River, and this trail is a little overgrown. Lots of dragonflies just everywhere. I've never seen so many dragonflies before, which is kind of cool. Let's check out this Dismal River, shall we? Looks kind of shallow. I don't think I could get a kayak through it. That looks deep right there. It's all shallow. Wide rivers mean very, very shallow. I don't know. That right here looks deep. I bet, That's, I bet you you can stand up. Guarantee it. 100%. 100%. I'll bet money and take my clothes off and go do it. We'll do it later, but that spot looks deep right there. Right there? Yeah. You can see the sandbar. It's not that deep. But it goes over the back knees. Right here. I'll dry it up. Zach did it. There is water. I do. Welch's fruit snacks. My favorite. <laughs> is it made with real fruit? Sponsored by Welch's fruit snacks. Made with real fruit. Uh, it's not sponsored. <laughs> it's not yet. Never seen this. <laughs> Look at this cool tree growing in the midst of all this damn sand. That is nuts. I'm gonna walk around it because this is amazing to me. A perfectly formed circle. Uh, there's some damn trash down there. First trash I've seen since being here. That's just pretty darn neat. These dragonflies are just so used to us already. And there's thousands of them. If you want to see some cool dragonflies, this is the place to go. That thing's eating a bug. You want to go in the back seat of that truck and on the on the driver's side. Uh, never mind, it flew away. Yeah, you ought to see some of these roads that you have to take if you want to camp in a further away spot. I don't know. My my 
scare you guys. Playing in the river. Yeah. Hmm. One of the most consistently flowing rivers in the world is the Bismarck. All right, Zach and I are off on the Scott Tower Trail at Halsey National Forest. Dad is injured, has some little bit of nitus on his heel. I don't know I what it's he's called. He's a little pansy, <laughs> pretty sure. But he's having difficulty walking, so he's going to check out the day use area, I think, at the main entrance. But here we are. Scott Tower Trail, and Scott's not even coming. What a bum. Bummer. Bummer, man. This section kind of reminds me of the Black Hills up in Wind Cave National Park. What'd you say? That bit. All these down trees kind of looks familiar. Go check out that video. Tell us if you think it looks familiar. Ponderosa Pine. It is the same pine tree found in the Black Hills. Wow, it's windy! It's so windy! Our first trail obstruction. Uh-oh. Uh. Down tree, down tree branch, probably that one. Has been very windy here the last couple days. A couple, just a couple down trees, no big deal on this trail. Do have to watch out for some poison ivy. There is some of that along the trail. Devil. Just be sure you're watching your step. And very beautiful trail. I'm very impressed, honestly. This is a very good hiking trail here in Nebraska. We've got ourselves a solar powered water pump. Very cool. What are these flowers? Day, folks it is upper 90s it's only one o'clock but I finally can see the tower we're almost three miles into this so not too bad of a hike it's just really hot today stay hydrated for Charles A. Scott, the forest first supervisor. Scott Fire Lookout was built in 1942 and is the third fire lookout on this site to perform its vital forest fire protection role. So Scott didn't want to do Scott's trail, but he drove to the parking lot and we are all now ascending Scott's tower. They named it after me, huh? How nice of them. They could have given me an elevator ride up here, though. You could use the workout. Hey, 
Yeah, very cool view. My legs. How did Dad do this? <laughs> Grandpa's the man. Oh, he was a younger man. <laughs> ah, beautiful. I definitely recommend doing Scott's Trail to Scott's Tower. Wow. Very beautiful though. What do you think? Let's get some photos. Love it. What a view. You definitely must see. Lived here in Nebraska all my life practically and never been here. Who knew such beauty existed in Nebraska? Okay, let me shine it on. There you have it. That was Halsey National Forest. If you liked this video, give it a like and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss the next adventure. Stay fun, everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, we are at the Niobrara River, putting in some kayaks here shortly at Berry Bridge, which is right behind me. And we will be floating on back to our campsite down at Rocky Ford, who was gracious enough to help us out with today's trouble. They wheeled our broken down butts Aww. over to the bridge. So we get to enjoy the river now today. Good times. I will show you all the beautiful waterfalls along the way. Stay tuned. <laughs> the river baptism!
cliff in front of us. There's a guy halfway up. Let's go see if we can get over there. Get a closer look. <laughs> the next, Alex Arnold. <laughs> What a beaut. Yeah. We have pretty cool trees growing out the side of these cliffs. Resilience in nature. He's lost in the 70s. Allen Bridge. <laughs> Fun guy Nick, YouTube, come subscribe. I bet you did, Jaden. I bet you did. Pretty misty. Falls Bridge. Oh man. Oh yeah? Not tall enough. Why'd you fall off? Come on, laugh. Let's get it on camera at least. Jaden, what's the snack of the day? Dots pretzels. Dots pretzels. What's your rating? Yeah. 10 out of 10. Order now from the Amazon affiliate link below. <laughs> yeah. Couple big rocks. Getting choppy. Not this case. <laughs> but I mainly use a different camera to film most of my stuff now, so I'm a little more ballsy with this one. <laughs> because it has a nice little wind muff, so the audio's great. Shoots 4K. Stabilized. That's pretty dope though, in all honesty. Like, I would have never even thought of that. Like, that would be like the thing to bring on a trip like this though. Like, just yeah. film the home, whole thing, do some video editing. Yep. I don't know if I'm winning it being the youngest at this point, but I just turned 24. I turned 24 last month. Where are you from? Hastings. You're Hastings, okay. Yeah,
Yeah. <laughs> right, oh, yeah, baby. I think this Patagonia black hole duffel is splash proof. <laughs> Order yours today at the affiliate link below. <laughs> probably saw this thing came undone thankfully I caught everything but we're coming up on some twists and turns so we're gonna single paddle this out of this sticky situation because there's like this little magical nook right behind a waterfall that feels like the the cupboard underneath the stairs kind of thing like Harry Potter so I call it Harry Potter Falls. <laughs> so if we were to follow the river up which we will eventually we'll tuck down and around there's a second waterfall. The, the oh cool. Larger one on the top it's like two in one. All right. Very cool. Woo! Yeah! be the funnest part of the river. What'd you think of that?
We ended our day with a nice campfire meal of sloppy joes and corn on the cob before retiring to a night of well-earned rest. Thanks for watching everybody. That was the Niagara River. If you like these types of videos, be sure to like this one and subscribe to my channel for more just like it. So until then, you all take care and stay fun. In today's video, we will be going on a kayaking adventure to find our long lost treasure. Arr. So five years ago, my buddy Jaden and I decided to start a treasure hunt. I have an idea to encourage and enthuse people to go out into the wilderness, to explore it, to learn it, to live it, to appreciate it. We started this little uh, treasure hunt called Nature's Treasure, and it was supposed to encourage others to get outside, enjoy the outdoors, but also one of the stipulations that if they were to find this treasure, they had to film themselves on their journey and show that they were picking up litter along the way because some of Nebraska's waterways and rivers and stuff, it's so polluted, there's so many beer cans, so many people disrespect the uh, recreational lifestyle and just use these spots as like a party spot. So we wanted to kind of try to change some of that. We put a five-year clause on this and said if no one claims this treasure within five years that we we're gonna go reclaim it and take the money that was uh, added to that and do one in the future when we have a little bit more following or we can get this uh, get this idea out there you know just a little fun adventure activity that will also help clean up the environment a little bit so that is what we're doing here today it is November. <laughs> we were going to go out earlier this year because we haven't kayaked in a while, but I'm like, screw it. Let's do some cold weather camping. Uh, the snow just melted. I mean, it is only 40 something right now, so it ain't terrible. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to see if we can find our treasure. It's been, been a long time, hasn't it? <laughs> it's been a while, so we'll go try to find it, do some cold weather camping, have a good time. Yep, yep. Should be fun. Sponsored by, feel free. Oh, he's being a dick. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we're on the right path to this treasure. But there's ice. There, here's proof that it's cold out. Might not have snow anymore, but... <laughs> on the south bank, there's all this ice. It's up that way a little bit. Because remember, we, we got out up here and, yeah, there's a lot of poison ivy, so we went up a little bit further. Cool. This is this is pretty. I like ice. As long as I'm not in it. Let's let's, let's touch it. Uh oh. Getting too close. Oh, you can hear it hiss. No, it's cool. I think <laughs> we're pretty much here, so I'm just enjoying it. That was neat. Are you sure that's not it? Yeah, it's right here, I think. It's so calm and quiet back here. I love it. It's the sound I actively seek out.
or lack of sound, I should say. Well, maybe we can't find the lost treasure. Is this ain't the spot? So what we're doing first is, since we're going to do some nighttime kayak photography, fun shit, and uh, there's so many channels out here, so I'm just going to leave a little marker that we'll collect when we get back, which is something to help us find our site a little bit easier. So I just got done stopping and taking a few pictures of this beautiful, calm lake, canyon. Just listen. You can faintly hear the airplanes in the distance, faintly. So there must be one flight path somewhat near, but comparatively to any type of city. There's ducks up here. I'm actually getting a video of it as we speak. There's the other one. Mm, how beautiful. How beautiful it is out here. Where things are just slow down. Oh, there they came up on the bunk, on the bank again. This is beautiful. I'm doing video right now. I can tell that action camera, the cold zaps the juice a lot quicker, but I did bring in my battery bank, so I'll charge that up and sleep with my cameras tonight to keep the batteries warm. <laughs> yep, I just have that type of relationship with camera gear, just like every other channel out there. <laughs> <laughs> no, cameras are a tool. It's about the experience, and yeah, certain tools will give you certain applications to use them in. Yeah. But uh, don't don't be this brand loyal loyalist. They're competitive. Lots of good cameras out there today. So we made it back. Here's the marker, which helped us, and the moonlight as well helped us to this today. This cold air really saps the batteries out of this this camera particularly. But so beautiful, peaceful out there. Um, the weather did drop down, as you can see. I got the buff out. The air's coming up off the water. Uh, there's still ice on the banks a little bit, a little bit of snow in the shade, but about to get a fire set up. Probably can't see it. It's dark out here. That's why I'm standing in front of my headlamp. Um, so yeah, gonna hopefully make some ramen here in a minute. <laughs> You're trying to get me in there. <laughs> I'm trying to walk out of it. You're the closest thing the light reflects off of. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty neat. So, camping tip. Sleep with your camera equipment in your bag to prevent the battery from draining. Yep, it's pretty thick there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice pan with the sun in the background. Be eating my food and it's the life. <laughs> my big clump of yogurt pretzels. <laughs>
So it turned out to be quite a nice day actually. It's too hot to wear my my beanie hat anymore, so uh, I still have my thermal gear on. But it's warm. I should probably take it off. But yeah, it turned out to be a good day. It got down to 26 last night, but we lived. It was fine. Today it's supposed to get up to 60. Gonna enjoy this nice November weather. To you, I did. Yeah, it's yeah, you would have seen the, the ducks. Yeah, I know. I'd like to rig up something on a future boat. I could just pull a lever and it'll just like slide it back and up. Mm -hmm. I think I could engineer that. <laughs> That'd be fancy. I could see you like kind of kayaking down the river and you have like this huge like camera setup. Yep. <laughs> it'd, be, it'd be kind of fun. Like you could definitely uh, stealth. Stealthily sneak up on someone mm -hmm. or something. Not someone, that's just creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Going to spy. On animals. All right, we finally found where we hid the treasure. This is scary. <laughs> I know. I remember how hard it was to get up. But now you really don't want to get wet. It's too cold. I think last time we just got out. <laughs> I think so. So, a little bit has changed, but once you bite through some of this tree, ah, this is the site. That's the tree. It's no longer there. Let's see if we can look around the floor and see if we can find it. Remnants. Oh, yeah, there's part of the the litter. So it did fall off. So we're kind of digging through all this leaf to find the buried, now buried treasure. It was up in the tree. <laughs> so we've been finding all this duct tape because we used the duct tape to tape it to the tree, as you saw in the picture. And I just found the Ziploc that was on Ziploc, like those sandwich baggies. We had a a DVD that gave a code so we didn't actually bury like silver or gold here <laughs> but if you found it we had a, a stash of silver that we were going to give away back then so uh, anyway we found the ziplock part of the bag and you know who knows what happens over five years like we just got to kind of clear through all this debris because we've been finding remnants over there and then I just found this right here it might take us a while all right, so we've been kicking around leaves and and uh, still no luck. See a lot of remnants of it, but it looks like something bit it, tore it open. But I don't know. Maybe we won't find it. That's okay. Maybe someone found it and just never claimed it yet. Are you out there? Anything over here, Jaden? Nothing yet. <laughs> Here she is! This is the disc that contains the code for the hidden treasure. We found our own treasure. It was kind of fun, honestly. Like, we intended to make this for other people to have fun, and no one would have found this. So, I'll have to do a better job next, like, put an actual marker and bury it and stuff. That's cool. We found the hidden treasure, and it doesn't look good. <laughs> 
Doesn't look good. Yep, there it is. Nature's treasure written on the back of that thing. Cool. It's cool. <laughs> Found our own treasure. <laughs> that was fun. What's that even sitting there? <laughs> you were clear up there, weren't you? <laughs> It's still out there. It was. Hello everyone. It's been a while since I've done a photography video and I thought what better day to do it than one of our first snowstorms here. It's beautiful. Uh, it's only like 33, 34 degrees out. It's been snowing most of the day. Roads are slightly slick but I figured we're gonna have the trail to ourselves today. It's overcast, it's snowing. The trees are beautiful though. We're gonna do some photography. Hopefully maybe see some deer, some wildlife, we'll see. And just enjoy this very uh, solitary hike today. just now made it to the bridge and not a person in sight. Probably do some sort of photo coming back crossing this bridge but it gets a little bit windier <laughs> when you're on the open water and colder so I'm gonna put my hand back in my pocket. Now I'm kind of out of the wind, but it's beautiful here. It's very quiet. Just seldom you hear a train way off in the distance. But I'm enjoying this hike so far. It's a, uh, it's a good day for a winter hike. I just jumped up a couple deer out here, but... So they're out here. So we're gonna try to find a nice cozy spot and just sit in silence for a while in this winter wonderland. All right, so I found a spot, a little bit of cover here but I'm gonna set my tripod up down here. And what I like to try to do is find a, a nice spot where, you know, I was following some deer trail, but I also wanna look for the background too to make sure it's the type of frame I would like. So a lot of this is luck and a lot of it's being quiet. So I'm just gonna sit and watch this beautiful snowfall while I, hopefully wait for some type of wildlife to walk by. Alright, it is time to move on. We sat there about an hour. It was peaceful, but no wildlife. But that's how it goes. But I decided to leave now so we still have a little bit of light when we get back to the bridge. I do a couple shots there. And who knows, maybe we'll see something on the on the walk back.
Ha, ha, ha.